In pockets of northern Brazil, fire is sucking the life out of the rainforest. In one province, a record number of fires in February nearly eclipsed all of last year, and last year was bad. So why are fires raging now? A devastating combination, elevated heat, historic drought, and deforestation, pushing parts of the Amazon towards a tipping point. We are losing the Amazon rainforest. This changes in the climate provoked by El Nino makes this forest fire season even worse than we are used to see. In the fall of 2023, while the world was warming at a record rate, people in Manaus, Brazil, were choking on smoke. The mighty Amazon River was drying up. Dolphins dying in abnormally warm water. And that vital waterway used by tens of thousands of people sunk too low. We had a massive death of fisheries because how warm the water was. Something I never seen in my life. Communities were isolated. They could not drink the water, eat the fish, and they could not go to the market because the, the rivers were not passing. So those were the conditions that this El Nino, together with climate change, brought to the Amazon. The for Annie Alencar studies the Amazon forest. This year has tested her faith in its power to adapt. When you have a climatic condition that is very severe, the first thing that the trees do, they shed their leaves. So when they shed their leaves, you have right there a very good fuel material for the fire at the same time that you open the canopy. Opening up the canopy dries out the understory, the vegetation underneath, making it more prone to burn, leading to fire surges in Brazil and across parts of South America. Colombia, Venezuela, Guyanas, you also you see very high fire activities. And this is a, another kind of proof that the climate is playing a very important role on that. She says smoke from Amazonian fires last fall was just as harmful to people as the smoke that choked North American cities last summer. Only fewer noticed. When Canada burned and you have this massive a smoke plume going to New York and everybody, oh no, I can't breathe and so on. I looked at the concentrate of particular material in the air and I looked to what we face in the Amazon every year and it's exactly or even more. There are people there breathing that air every single fire season. But there's another incendiary ingredient impacting the stress on the rainforest, an ongoing battle over deforestation. We saw the evidence of that back in fall 2022 when we traveled to the Brazilian Amazon. We recorded this scene, fire deliberately set illegally by land grabbers, clearing land over a kilometer from the nearest major road, often hidden under the canopy to avoid surveillance. Once the big timber is cut and sold or confiscated, yeah, yeah, ranchers yeah. use the cleared land for cattle and farmers plant feedstock. Under Jair Bolsonaro's government, the former president, deforestation soared, leaving blackened scars. And at the edges, a forest weakened, more vulnerable to the ravages of a year like 2023. We are crossing, or we are arriving, a very dangerous limit for Amazon. And not everybody are observing that we are very near this limit. We need to talk more seriously about tipping points. And the part of the Amazon is very near tipping points. The election of a new president, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, just over a year ago, targeted illegal deforestation. The environment minister reporting a 22% drop since then in the deforested rainforest. But that was eclipsed by the effects of El Nino and the devastating drought, which is still ongoing. 
We cannot wait. We need to do something like a emergency situation. This is the problem. We cannot wait. In northern Brazil, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, spraying down the brush, is no match for the fire's spread. Normally, fires dissipate as the region heads towards the rainy season, but this year, here, the fires are hanging on. Are you worried about the ability of the rainforest to recharge itself this yeah. spring? Yes, I, I'm worried. We have seen some data on the rivers that they didn't come back to the peak that they have during the, the rainy season uh, this time. And this is a very uh, important indicator and a very worrisome indicator. The world's largest rainforest helps cool our climate. A healthy forest, like we saw, pulls in and sequesters CO2. But stress on the forest. From fire, heat and drought means the forest will release vast amounts of carbon. And in many states, the former president's party still wields power and their stiff opposition to preserve more forested land. We are no longer facing Bolsonaro's term, but uh, these idea, politics of legislations that try undermine uh, uh, the forest protection in Brazil, it's uh, really alive, it's still operating in the country, and it's so international pressure, international surveillance is absolutely important and that makes difference. The coming months will tell a story. El Nino, the warming weather pattern, is expected to dissipate. But the climatic changes last year were so severe, the rainforest is vulnerable to another devastating fire season.